Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Zebu Nation Plays Football Manager 2017, American Manager in London. It's a little exciting special match we have here today. Oh, let me turn on my Steam controller. Maybe, maybe, maybe it's not working. What's up? What's up with you, Steam controller? Oh, technical difficulties right off the bat. I love it. Love it. Boop, 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 boop. I don't know if that came across. Um, there we go. All right. Just had to uh, unplug the little uh, dongle thing and put it back in. And away we go. Um, so, yeah. Special, special episode today. We're moving into our new stadium. We just got a little email here. A new era dawns at Lansing United UK Stadium. That's right. Supporters on Tuesday. As the club officially moves into their brand new ground to play their first competitive match there. The 3019 Capacity Lansing UK Stadium will welcome Dulwich Hamlet as the first opponent. And Lan UK will be hoping to begin a new chapter in their history with a debut victory. Around 2,000 tickets are expected to be sold for the Venerama South Clash on Tuesday. If these numbers are confirmed, it will be calculated the Lansing UK Stadium will be 66% full, which is huge. I mean, 2,000 tickets? We were lucky to get 200 tickets at our previous stadium. Uh, so the average, yeah, here it is, the average attendance for Lansing UK games at Lansing UK Stadium has been 169 so far this stadium this season. Uh, on a further note, we have the 22nd best attendance in the Venerama South, which is not good. Uh, Dulwich Hamlet will be back by a decent number of traveling supporters, around 100 fans. So we'll have around 2,100 people at our stadium. It's pretty awesome. Let's take a look at this little gem, the new gem of London here, Croydon Town. Uh, it is a 3019 capacity, as we mentioned, built this year. Very good condition, of course. The field condition is perfect. A human foot hasn't yet to set, set a foot on this grass. Whatever. It's untouched, unblemished. Uh, see, no undersoil heating, no roof. That's fine. Be fun to see what it looks like. This will be our first match ever. Uh, teams, we're the only team here, it's our stadium, no one else gets to have it, let's take a look at the club, let's take a look at the facilities here, uh, yeah, so it's in Croydon, basic training, poor youth facilities, I was hoping it might increase some of our, like, corporate facilities or something, but I guess those are completely separate, so that's, uh, live and learn there. Our youth level is four. I don't know how good that is or bad that is, but you know what? We're looking good. We're we've got enthusiasm. We're ready to play this match. Let's go over here. Uh, we did have some signings. I want to point that out. Um, we're not quite at our mid-season mark. We've only played four games, so we'll have a or our quarter season. We'll have the quarter season update. <clears throat> Uh, shortly but in the meantime we're gonna look at our transfers transfer history we brought in a couple of guys on the free Tyler Ford and Miles Bowman both goalkeepers because as you saw in our first match goalkeeper uh, Big Bank Hanks was injured so here's Ford 18 years old uh, we're paying him too much money but, uh, you know, so far he's played well. He's a three-star player. He's got four-star potential. 11, 10, 7. Um, his handling is decent. His reflexes are pretty good. 12, agility 13. He's already made some good saves. Um, look at his stats here, I guess. So, yeah, Venerama. He's made one appearance. Um, what's his rating? 6.7 rating. You know, not terrible. Not uh, the worst, but you know what? He he got a win, so that's good for us. Then we also got Miles Bowman, another 18-year-old, 9'9". Communication is a little low. 
Handling good. Again, reflexes good. Agility good. Jumping reach pretty good. So, you know, we've got depth at goalkeeper. He's also a three-star guy and a four-star potential. So, you know, when when Hanks gets back, we'll have three real good quality goalkeepers for this level. So, uh, very excited about that. Uh, that's one of the things I tried to focus on this season was just building depth and building guys who can play, you know, solid minutes at this level. So here's right now the team we've been going with recently. Again, it's the same defense. Uh, Ford, Vint, Humphrey, and Layton on the back line. Adams, Guard, Downey, and, uh, George Colette McCartney has been playing well. He came in last game as a substitute, but you know what? We're going to bring back, uh, da, 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 who was it? What's his name? Do they send him down? That's the problem. I take him out of the first team and he gets sent down. No, there he is, Havard. I'm going to bring Havard up and make him there. Because we just played a match a couple days ago, so we still got some tired players. You know, people in the low 90s. But our match fitness is getting up there. Very excited about that. Now, Striker has been an interesting adventure. You know, we've been trying different combinations. And so far, Dale and Etheridge have been playing really well. Haven't seen much of Etheridge in our previous match. But he's a poacher. 12 finishing, 13 heading. Uh, so he's he's good with the ball around the net, which is what you need. Acceleration, agility, pace, you know, all pretty good for this level. So whatever it is, he's kind of usurped Yates a little bit, and uh, he's scoring goals. As you can see, he's got three appearances, two goals. Bobby Dale, the defensive forward, three appearances, three goals. So you can't beat that. 7.9 rating. Our guys are looking pretty good. Even our backups, we've settled on a, on a core of five backups. Conklin, Stewart, Lambert, George, and Tuki Tiali. So if we need an extra punch on offense, we can bring in Tiali. If we need some extra defense, bring in George. And then these other guys just sort of <clears throat> fill in for the defense as they get and midfield as they get tired. And it's worked so far. We've We've been on a good run since our last match, but we'll submit our team here. Havard lacks match sharpness. That's fine. Usually that bar is like filled up with everybody who's like lacking match sharpness. So now that we're down to one player, that's good. I guess we're a little tired, but I think we'll get the extra energy we need from our new stadium, our new digs. I fancy Dulwich Hamlet in this one. What? Having looked at the lineups, Dulwich Hamlet seems to have more about them than Lansing UK. And I expect to have a quality show from them. Well, sorry to disappoint you. They're going with the 4-2-3-1. Very aggressive. We're going, we're, we've been sticking with the 4-4-2 this season. It's been working well. So we're going to stay with that. We're not going to mess anything up. Uh, let's close down on this guy. Oops, let's close down on this guy. <clears throat> okay. Nobody predicts us to win. So get a bit of encouragement out there. Let's be passionate. Uh, we're the underdogs, but to go out there and give the fans a performance to cheer for. Come on, guys. It's our new stadium. 2,000 fans out there. Let's get excited. Instructions. We've been keeping our instructions pretty basic. Stick to positions and tighter marking. So far, it's worked well. And we will go look at this lovely new stadium. Look at the stands. They're packed. So excited for this. That perfect, beautiful grass. No more dirt patches in the middle. And here we go. Fans have a nice little roof there to keep them from the rain. That's good. Uh, all right, guard with the free kick. Uh, and he poops it, but that's okay. Nope. Let's see if we can continue this attack. Vent, get back in position, my man. Guard to Etheridge. Adams, can you make a play? There's Etheridge. Get it up to our man. 
There's Dale. There he is. Nice attack. Nice attack, boys. Good passing. We got the corner out of it. Havard taking the corner, of all people. It's good. Nobody there for the header. But Adams recovers into Downey. Don't lose it, Downey. Oh, he just takes a wild shot, but that's okay. It's okay. As long as we're getting the highlights, we're fine and dandy. We should encourage players to try some more direct passes. Okay, we'll go from shorter range and try more direct passing. We'll listen to our coaches. How about that? Okay, looks like they might be getting a highlight here. Unless we can get the steal. Uh, we're not on counterattack, but you know we do have more direct passing in. So if we get the steal, we could blast it up court. Up court, up field, <laughs> up the pitch. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. They got it wide. That's no good. <clears throat> That's no good at all. Oh, we've dropped down to tenth position. So we are having a bit of trouble with crosses this season. Rainy out to Stabana, into Bengal, and just our right defender there did not. Is that Humphrey? It's his heading. His jumping is only 9, heading 11. Not great. Here's another highlight. Let's see what we got here. Let's get the steal. Let's get the steal, boy. Nope. Come on now. Just fires it off the crossbar. Vint there to clean it up, but that's not good. All right. Um, instructions. Let's dial that back because <clears throat> that's not working, obviously. Let's take a little bit more control of the ball. Because, you know, it was going from us having all the highlights to them getting a goal in all the highlights. Dale, nice header out there. See if we can get the steal. Look at that. Defense and up the field. Etheridge got that pace to beat him. Etheridge, one on one. Oh, and he gets beat. He gets tackled in the box. But, uh, you know, he's got that potential. You know, Yates doesn't have that speed anymore. Etheridge does. Leighton with the throw in. Only 27 minutes down. This is uh, quite a highlight package going on here. Giveaway. That's no good. Good steal by Vint. Up to Etheridge. He can't chase that down. He's going to give it a, the old college try, though. Oh, the defender messes up. Etheridge. Oh. I think we need to put some pressure on these uh, these defenders of theirs. I will save that for the second half. I think we'll go attacking in the second half. See if we can put some pressure. If their defense is going to make those kind of mistakes. Ooh, there's a nice trip by Leighton. Get it upfield. Dale, nice. Etheridge on the run again. This is why he's been in there. Oof. He's just not finishing, though. He's been finishing in previous games. But you can see the potential. <clears throat> Very much like a young <laughs> Yates. Now that Yates is over the hill at 20 years old. Uh, looks like they might get a counterattack here. Set pieces are not my favorite thing in this game. Oh, bad tackle by Ford. Oh, that's no good. That's too easy. Too easy. Oh. 40th minute goal is a killer. It was all because of Ford missed that tackle. And then just an easy, easy finish. Poor marking on the back end there. They just let Green float around all by himself. Ah, boy. Not the way we wanted to start off our first match. Yellow card by Leighton. Yellow card by Adams. What's with this yellow cards in the last minute of the half, boys? All right, we've not been good enough. Passionate. We owe Double Chamet after what happened last time. Get out there. All right, so let's go on the attack. Let's 
Let's be more expressive. Be more expressive on the attack. Let's get out there, boys. We're at home. We got thousands of fans in the stand. Literally, multiple thousands of fans. Now, it may be technicality, but you know what? From what our previous fan, you know, participation had been, this is a miracle. This is like Christmas. Uh... We're not getting any movement here on the attack. Here we go. Here's a highlight. Leighton with this throw in. A awful throw in. Nice steal though by Humphrey coming up. He's an aggressive central defender. I'll give him that guard. What a pass to Adams. Get it in there to Etheridge. Off the post and in. There he is. He's back, boys. He's back. Third goal of the season in only the fifth game. That deserves a celebratory drink of water. Here, let's see that again. Guard to Adams on the wing, and he centers it. Etheridge. Very nice delivery off the inside of the post. And we're back in it. Back in the game. Guard is a little tired. Humphrey's a little tired. We're going to let him play, though. Adams up the field. Etheridge. Oh, he just beats two men. He's got Dale. He's got Dale in the middle. Here he is. Dale with the finish. Two. Ties it up. Look at that. 72 minutes in. Fourth goal of the season for Dale. That's what I was talking about earlier. These two guys, man. They're just dynamic. They are the dynamic duo. Etheridge making the play for Dale. Dale with only nine finishing, but, you know, he's got the composure to settle the ball down and just strike it right into the back of the net. Excellent, excellent. All right, let's take a look at some substitutions here. Boy, I don't know if I want to take out Humphrey. How's Coughlin doing there? He's not that good of a player. Nine marking, 13 tackling, though. Um, you know, it'd be nice to get that yellow card of Leighton off the field. So we'll do that. There's not much of a difference between Stewart and Leighton. So we can do that without a problem. Uh, I think we'll keep the other guys on there. Dale got his goal. We could bring in Tiki Tiali, though. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. I mean, we're going for the win, right? We're at home. Going for the win. Let's let, get these guys in there and see if they can make a difference. Still on the attack. There's Downey up the field to Etheridge. Oh, that's a foul. Come on, boys. That's a foul. You saw him. He clipped him right in the ankle. Ugh. Bad tackle on the wing again. Get it out of there. Oh, no. It's an own goal from Humphrey. He almost made the spectacular saving tackle, but because that ball was going to Bengali. I mean, there's no doubt about that. Daniel with a beautiful cross, and oh, he just couldn't tip it wide. That's going to haunt his nightmares. <sighs> I guess we could have substituted him. Humphrey's looking exhausted. Take him out of there. Uh, Conklin, yeah, you're a central defender as well. I guess we should have, uh, substituted that a little earlier. There we go, get him out of there. Two minutes of stoppage time. Instructions, let's overload and get forward. Take the stick to possessions off of there. Let's get stuck in. Let's close down. Just go for it. Go for it. Here's. Alright, there's Ford with Steel up to Cochlin. Let's see what our new man, our new substitute can do. Oh, that's a nice pass. That's a nice pass to Havard. Into Tiali, who messes it up. Tiali. He scuffed it. 
Come on, man. That was your chance to be a hero. And he scuffed it at home. But you know what? It was a good comeback. Um, you know, going down 2 nothing and bringing it back tonight. You were the underdogs. You gave it your best. Good effort, boys. Good effort. Uh, but you can see the potential in this team. You know, uh, who is this we played against? Dulwich, where are they? You know, they're sixth in the league right now. So they're a top team. And we stuck with them pretty good. We, I mean, that should have been a draw. There's no way around that. We had an own goal to beat us. And we had a, you know, a play at the end that should have been a goal. So... You know, that could have even been a win if those two things go our way. Two little breaks go our way. That's a 3-2 win instead of a 3-2 loss. So, you know, uh, this team is showing potential. It's showing promise. And what I need to do now is figure out how to sustain that. Because we've had other seasons that started off well, but we, we just fall off at the end of the season. So i got to think of some new strategies, some new tactics to keep us fit for the end of the season. But anyway, Dale with a 7-0 rating and a goal. This is our key player. Etheridge, man of the match here. Two key passes, 7.9 rating, a goal, and an assist. Good man, good man. Uh, take a look at the analysis here. Oh, heat maps. Oh, God, heat maps. That's not what we were looking for. That's what we were looking for. Ford with 10 interceptions. Vint, 13 interceptions. Humphreys with nine interceptions and a one goal. That's no good. Uh, let's see. Distance run. Adams eight point nine. Guard eight point two. So we're we're asking a lot from our midfield. But Downey eighty five percent passing. That's kind of his shtick. That's what Downey is there for. That's why he's in in the lineup. Got eleven pass and thirteen technique. Eight first touch. You know he's pretty decent up there. Although guard. Guard is also pretty good, 13 first touch, 10 passing. So our midfield, you know, good passing, and it's it's shown pretty well. Havar, distance run, 8.4 miles. So we're asking a lot, again, of our midfield. Goal from Etheridge, goal from Dale. Stewart had a dribble, good man, good to dribble. Tiali, thumbs down, 0% cross ratio, that's no good. But, uh, yeah, it was a good game, fun game, good for our first... First game in the new stadium. Everyone was very excited about that. So there you have it. We fall in a late defeat. So sad. But uh, we'll come back with the quarter season update very soon. See you then. Bye.